I think they're the deepest lineup in baseball right now. I think they give themselves a chance every night on the mound. Spencer Strider punches tickets left and right. Charlie Morton's all reliable. They're going to address the bullpen some form or fashion. A.J. Minner, his early season struggles have not transferred over. He's gotten better. Russell Iglesias. So while we were away, we really missed, like, the coming out party for the Cincinnati Reds. I was talking to Jeff Francoeur, my neighbor, last night. He calls the games for the Braves, and he said, you should have seen the atmosphere in Cincinnati for those three games. That's it really was a cool. playoff atmosphere. Love that. And he goes, the Reds are real. Mm -hmm. But it was a great harbinger of what could potentially happen. So there was a lot of fireworks, a lot of home runs. Yeah. So July 4th is coming up. Capalbo said, why don't you mock up Brian Snicker hosting a July 4th party? That's and nice. And then so? we'll send out invitations and let people know what's on the itinerary. Like what they need to help. Hey, let yeah. I need to, you know, if yeah, you're going to bring. Yeah, bring a bring a pasta salad. Yeah, you're in Do charge something. of bringing the watermelon. You're in charge of bringing the napkins and the forks. Maybe and someone bring some fireworks. Always take some water, by the way. That's it. Did you ever light fireworks as a kid? I was always scared. Yeah, yeah. You I mean, did? you know, you got to be careful, obviously. I had a firecracker explode in my hand oh when my I was God. a baby. <laughs> well, you know who had a firecracker explode off his bat last night? <laughs> Ronald Acuna Jr. So here's Brian Snicker right here getting ready. Hey, who wants to come to my party? We're going to have a fireworks display at the end, and it's going to be Ronald Acuna Jr. all day long. He went deep off Emilio Pagan last night. He is slashing 333, 411, 651 with five bombs and 15 mm. ribbies mm. over his last 15 games. He's the best player in the game, according to War. Second most stolen bases. He's on pace for 35 bombs and 73 bags. Who are we going to put at the grill? Matt Olson looks like he can make, make a mean steak. Yep. Maybe some burgers and some dogs. Mm -hmm. What are you into, Robert, off the grill? Some chicken? Yeah, uh, all of that. All, all right. Of that. Well, he's got 25 homers. He leads the National League in homers and RBIs with 60. Only Shohei Otani okay. has more. Get to know me. Marcelo Zuna. And since May, he got off to a terrible start. Since May, 304, 14 homers and a 982 OPS. He's got the sixth highest OPS in Major League Baseball since the start of May. Been really on fire last night. Sonny Gray gives him a 3-1 cutter. He goes <laughs> deep right center. DJ Money Mike Harris got off to a slow start. Yep. Was nicked up. Damaged goods coming in. Some people were saying, oh, sophomore slump? No chance. Oh, too Mono, yeah, you're too small, Michael Harris. Right back after it, he's hitting 435 with four homers, 13 ribbies, and an OPS <laughs> north of 1,100 over his last 18. And the dress code, wear something tight. Mm -hmm. Spencer Strider always wears the tight pants, and he was on fire last night. And to watch him, he incorporated a lot more off speed into his arsenal last night. He kept him guessing. We're going to get to an A-B with Correa right here that I thought kind of showed it perfectly. Ooh. The example of mix. If he mixes in this breaking ball, he's tough to beat. So he goes heater up in his own 97 right by him. Now he goes little cut fastball 96 inside. He's got him 0-2. Let's get outside with the breaking stuff. We're going to get to a 2-2 count right here. Can we pause this or no? Okay, we can't pause it. So 2-2, two, two, what's he throwing? Normally, you got to be sitting on 98 to 100, and that's what Correa was sitting on. He incorporated that nasty breaking ball, a little change up as well, and really had those guys guessing. And when you look at it, lowest opponent slug versus secondary pitches. He doesn't throw them a ton, but if he incorporates it in a little bit more and becomes a little bit more unpredictable in hitters counts, I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. 223, no one hits it. Carlos Rodon, hopefully he's back soon. Jason Adam, Fromber, Justin Steele. And you take a look at his pitch usage. He was dialing up the changeup, almost doubled his changeup usage. Mm. Mixed in the slider a heck of a lot more. So it was really, really nice win. Savvy win for the Braves. Let's Joe Ryan will go, we'll get the start tonight against Elder. the Minnesota Twins against Bryce Elder. Yeah. Mike Soroka could be in line to uh, expected to start on Wednesday. Remember, he came back, didn't really pitch well, and now went back to the minors and uh, is supposed to be back up and starting Wednesday for the Atlanta Braves.